Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boonbape and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all a crafting guide for New World. And in this guide, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible, but I have gotten a few questions on crafting in general and how to craft some very high level gear. On top of that, there have been some images floating around of people crafting 600 gear score legendary gear recently, and I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video as well. So in this video, I'm going to be covering not just how the crafting system works, but also some gear to make your gear score even higher. So make sure to stick around. And if this video does help you out, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also comment down below if you have any questions that I didn't go over. So thanks for watching and let's jump straight into it. So starting off over here at the forge. Now this is going to be the main place that we're going to be talking about all of the gear. And while this is applicable to weapons and engineering as well, I'm going to be mainly focusing on armor as that's what I have the most experience in. So like I said earlier, this is also applicable to lower level items such as iron plate greaves. But make sure one quick thing that you need to check whenever you are making gear. As you can see here, this automatically selected the rarest material that I have for these lower level items. And usually that's not going to be what you want to use. So make sure you're double checking all of the materials that are auto selected for you. But moving on to a higher level example, we're mainly going to be focusing on the fur lined or calcum gauntlets in this case. So as you can see, as a baseline, the gear score for this item is around 480 to 520. So we'll just say an average of 500. Now that's pretty common. As you can see, other stuff is just around 500 as well, no matter what item you're going to be doing. So for our example here, like you can see, it auto selected the highest grade clothing component that we have, but let's pretend we have all the base components here. So I'm going to be mainly talking about the left column when it comes to crafting as the right column here with Azoth and the special resource really don't improve the gear score at all. They just make it have different perks. So looking over here at the left side, let's quickly just take a look at the primary resource. So these three resources are going to be the same for all of the items, or at least the same three primary resources. As you can see, even the base one is going to be metal, leather, cloth. And once you move up, it's going to be metal, leather, cloth, just in a higher grade. But for this primary resource, when you normally come up here, it's usually going to have the owned items marker checked. This will just show what you have on hand. But if you want to see all of the items available to use on this particular component for crafting, so let's uncheck this. And now you can see these are all the different components that you could potentially use to make this item. Now, this is going to be important because these are the items you're going to need to look for to get your gear score higher. So let's quickly take a look at the base of this video on how to increase your gear score. That's what it's all about. That's what most people are here for. And so I'll quickly show you right now and so the gear score here, make sure to keep an eye on it because as we select Cinnabar as the new main item, it just went up from 479 all the way to 489. Now, as we can see, it did go up because this is more rare than the Aura Calcum. It's going to be on the same rarity as Tolvium. But once we move up to Asmodium, this is going to be much more rare than the others. So as you can see, it bumps it up by an additional five. Now, what's nice about this is you can do this for all three crafting components. As you can see, we move up from the tier two to the tier three and it slowly increases and then tier four. And if we made a big jump all the way to runic leather, which is the highest grade, it goes all the way up from 504 to 524. So. Now we're really making big steps as far as gear score goes. So I'm going to skip all this and go straight to Phoenix Weave, which is going to be our highest level component for the linen section. Now, whenever we select this, this is going to be the new maximum, which is 554 to 565. So just about 560 gear score here. So that's very respectable, but these components are very expensive. So. If you are looking at getting a very high gear score set of gear, it is going to take you either a lot of time farming or a lot of money. Now, the reason this is, is because this requires 200 weaving in order to make Phoenix weave, 200 tanning to make runic leather, as well as 200 smelting to make Asmodium. And in addition to that, you can only make 10 of each of these materials per day. 
So as you can see, there is a lot of investment into making a very high level item such as this. That being said, if we wanted to take a step back real quick and let's say you are looking for some nice gear that you just got to 60 and you want a little bit of a head start. You can easily get these base tier 5 materials that I'm selecting, which are dropping in price every day. This is going to get you around 515 gear score, which is a really great and strong starting point. Also, since these are becoming cheaper, you can make many of these and get a really custom fit and tailored set of gear for yourself. So moving back to our top end set of gear, you might be wondering, hey, this isn't 600. Now you're completely right. The average of this would be around 560 and that's not what we're looking for in this video. So in order to show you how to get all the way up to 600, the very first thing is one, you're going to need to have 200 armoring. The higher your armoring is, there is going to be a higher chance that you get better gear score. And of course it does top out at 200. So if you want the best of the best, then you are going to need to invest in armoring or weaponsmithing, whatever you're crafting. So the second part in order to get very high level crafting gear is going to be over here in the training post. I figured this would be the best way to show you all as this gear can be very rare. So if we wanted to look up stuff just for armoring, we're going to start by looking in the perks section and we're going to look for armor expertise. Now, whenever we do that, as you can see, this is a very rare item. Like I said, we can search through all of the trading posts and as you can see, still not much luck here. And all of these items are very expensive. So these are very rare items that you can find out in the world that, as you can see, are going to increase your armoring crafted item quality by two additional per item worn. So for five items, you're going to get an additional 10 item score or gear score. Of course, this is going to be very, very expensive. But like I said earlier, if you want to craft the best of the best, then it's going to require a lot of investment. Usually companies will have one designated armor per company. In addition to this, you can also search up the armor of mastery, and this is going to be specifically for jewelry. So as you can see here, this is quite a bit cheaper and it does give you five additional minimum armor crafted item quality. So this, as well as the other gear is something you're going to want to think about investing in if you really want to make that high level gear, or maybe try and invest in one of the players in your company to make you gear. The next thing that I wanted to take a look at over here is going to be trophies. So again, this is going to be necessary if you want to make the best gear. And even if not, this is very little investment compared to everything else. If you want a, a little boost to the gear score of all the items you make. And of course, you can have three houses. So you can have one of these trophies in each of your house for a combination of up to 15 additional crafting gear score. That's, of course, going to be for the highest level uh, armoring trophy which is going to be down here i don't think anyone on my server has made these yet but what's nice is you can go back and you can get the cheaper minor armoring crafting trophy and these like i said are very very cheap so this isn't going to give you the best of the best but it's going to be a good start and you can use this to make some pretty high level gear even now so finally we're going to go over to the trade skill bonus food so this is going to be an easy way to get a lot of extra gear score so if we go to the trade skill bonus food section and go to armoring, we can pick up some spicy cabbage soup. Now, if you are serious for making really good gear, then this is going to be necessary as it'll give you another 15 additional gear score. So if you are thinking about the 15 that you get from gear, 15 that you get from your house and 15 that you get from this, then that's going to be an additional 45 gear score. So now with all of that combined, we're looking at just around a 600 gear score item. So not to scare you off, but I simply wanted to show you what's going to be the absolute best gear you can make and how to make it. So of course, I'm not telling you to go out and invest all of this money right away. This is not something you can easily do. And like I said, this is why most companies have one designated armor in their group. Even with that being said, though, personally, I have invested quite a bit into armoring because I really do like it. It's pretty chill and I've been able to make some pretty decent gear. As you can see here, some decent nearly 580 pieces as well as a 550 helmet. And all of them I did make semi custom tailored for myself. As you can see here, this one has insatiable gravity well because I wanted to mess around and see if that perk was really good. And that's something that you can allow yourself to do whenever you are making custom gear like this. 
Now, there is a chance whenever you do make 600 gear score items that it does become a legendary. As you can see here, this was pulled from Reddit recently. Although I have seen pieces like this floating around in my server, I just haven't been able to pick them up as they are very, very expensive. So I definitely think it's going to be worth it to invest in your crafting skills, and I hope this video showed you how to do it. Whether you're making some lower level leveling gear or trying to make the best of the best, I hope this video did help you out to some extent. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.